triangular composition, the power of three. This is one of my personal favorite little, little things I look for in an image. If I can see three points of interest, three items of interest in a picture that draw the eye and create a triangle that my eye travels around, I find that very compelling. And it's an interesting phenomena and it does make some really strong images. So let's have a look at some of the images I've taken using this technique. This is again the seaside. I love going down the seaside. I've got a particular spot. I take a lot of my images in along um, in, in the UK and in Hunstanton in the UK. And there's a delight is in the right place at certain times of the day and you get some beautiful images down there. But in this one, I've seen the, the boy and uh, the, the little girl and the, possibly the father and the two children on, on this side. And then I've seen the boat. So I've carefully moved until I've got the balance of the triangle composition I want. I've moved my feet, can't move the light, can't move my subject, move my feet until I get that perfect triangular composition. And now we have a really compelling, interesting composition. Again, the power of three. In this instance, the little boy sees two people he knows. He's running towards them. Three people in the shot. Power of three. Again, we see three seagulls. This is a little funny little picture I just saw. Again, the white's a little bit overexposed, but I didn't care because it's a creative image and it's bright sunlight and I just caught it when I saw it. And we have got these three um, seagulls just walking in a row. But again, it's the power of three, three elements that create the compelling nature of this image. And again, here we have a very simple image, seaside image. Three girls jumping waves as the waves come in. But it's the three that gives it the power. It's the three that give it the strength where your eye are drawn to. There's something innate in us where we just seem to value the power of three. So go out there, find some images where you've got three strong elements in an image that draw the eye. Three primary elements that keep it, and then try and keep out anything else out of the image that you can. And see what images you come up with. And of course, I'd love to see them. Send me a link so I can have a look at them as well. So go out there, find some images with the power of three, and you'll be amazed how compelling the images can look when you are aware of this, this little, not many people know about this little compositional rule, but bring it into your photography and you see what happens. So obviously you can extend this from the power of two to the power of four. You know, you can do it any way you want, but for me the power of three is very strong, but it helps you to think, start thinking in themes and styles and different ways of thinking. Very strong compositional element.